Hello Capricorn. All right guys, so um I am just starting this YouTube channel. So I'm really really excited about it and all the support that I can get. I do appreciate that very very much. So I want to jump right into your reading. This is the past, present and future and this is from now until the end of May. And yeah, let's jump right into this. And if you guys uh want a personal reading or you need to get in touch with me for any reason, you can find everything in the description below, okay? All right, so guys, so your energy for this reading is the Four of Swords in reverse. So this could be you coming out of a resting, a uh, time of, uh, you know, resting. Um, this could be you, you know, you may have taken a break in the past and now you're coming out of that break. Or um, this could be the opposite also. This could be that you really, really need to take a break from something, you know, that you might be overexerting yourself. So you know which one you are. <laughs> Okay, guys, so the first card for your past, I pulled the chariot in reverse, and I wanted to clarify that, and I pulled the ace of wands. So with the chariot in reverse, in the past you were feeling like you just didn't have control over something, whether it be yourself or a situation, but there's just lack of control, you know, lack of direction, things all over the place, you know, if this is in reference to a relationship, um, then it could have been, you know, really, really rocky. But with this Ace of Wands, it's like you don't have direction here, but something new is starting. And you're very excited about it. And this is a very passionate and creative thing. Um, and it's, it's the beginning stages of that. And this is something that you're, you know, really excited about. So that's great, guys. So that plays out well. Now, the next card for your past is the Three of Wands, and I clarified that. And I got the Eight of Swords in reverse. So with the Three of Wands, you're waiting for your ships to sail in. You know, you're looking to broaden your horizons. You're looking to expand. You're looking to, you know, get more knowledge, do more things. Like, you're just looking out. You want to improve everything. And now, you know, with the Eight of Swords in reverse, you're not in your head anymore. You don't feel like um, you're, you're mentally trapped. And when this card is upright, this is someone who's really in their head. They, um, you know, it's, it's all self-inflicted thinking, you know, and being binded by nothing. <laughs> Just being all in your head about things. So you're coming out of that, and that's great. Now, the next card for your past, I pulled the Judgment card, and I clarified that, and I got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So you're coming to a real, uh, you know, a realization about something. You're coming to an epiphany, you know, you may have had an epiphany about something, but whatever the something was, you're just feeling drained from it. Now, this could be financially drained or, you know, even emotionally drained, but you're just feeling like you're losing a lot with coming to this realization, okay? And that was in your past. Now let's move to your present. So presently, we have the Nine of Swords, and I clarify that, and I got the Seven of Pentacles. What's going on, guys? So this is just showing that you're really in your head about something. You know, you're staying up late at night, you're stressing, you're overthinking, you're just really worried. And with this card you have to keep in mind that this again is self-inflicted this is something that you know you you kind of do to yourself you just put yourself in a worse position and with this card this is usually someone who's making things out to be worse than what they are and it's like you're waiting on something you're waiting on something and you're anxious about it now your next card for your present situation is the Seven of Cups. I clarified that. And I got um, the Devil in Reverse. So you're breaking away from a bad situation. Um, it could be that, you know, now you have more options. So if this was like a person that maybe you were dating, you're, you know, moving out of that and you have more options. You have more ways that you can... Um, more ways that you can go about things, basically. Um, but this could also be, you know, you 
having illusions about this person. You know, you may need to just kind of clear your head, cleanse everything out, and and just focus. There's there's a little too much going on here, you know. But there's you either have options or you're seeing illusions or it's just you know a lot going on. But you are breaking away from something that no longer serves you, which is great. Your next card, guys, is the death and reverse card and I clarify that and I got the four of cups now with death and reverse anytime you see the death card don't be afraid of this card guys um, this is actually I like this card a lot this is you know the completion of something and the start of something new now this card wipes out you know any bad energies that or just it wipes out old energies bringing in new energies so Guys, when this is in reverse, there's a change that you're resisting. And you have to be okay with letting go and letting things change. And, um, you know, I know Capricorn is an earth sign, so we are pretty grounded. And we, you know, I'm an earth sign too. But um, sometimes we don't like change. And I get that. But with this card... If you resist the change, it's going to be forced upon you. So do it gracefully, you know? Don't make it hard on yourself. Now with the Four of Cups in reverse, you may have had an offer from someone and you're choosing to take them up on their offer. With this card, this could be you know, you being with someone that you wouldn't expect to be with or making a decision you didn't expect or good news that you didn't expect. But this is, um, this is coming to a decision about something. So I, I totally see how, you know, these work together, you know, cause it's a new situation. You're choosing to do something new. You're, you're making a choice here and that's, that's why, you know, things are changing. That's why you have the death card. Don't resist the change. You know, the universe is going to make it happen no matter what. So don't resist. Now, in the future, I have the strength card in reverse. And then the knight of cups in reverse. Now, the knight of cups in reverse is someone who has the qualities of, you know, someone who cheats. They are worried about, you know, physical appearance. They're worried about self-gratification. Um, they're not always an honest person, and, and they look out for themselves, you know? So if this is you or if this is someone that you're dealing with, you know, you might feel like you're not strong. But with strength in reverse, it's just it's telling you that you are. You are strong. You're much stronger than you know. You just might be doubting that, but it's there. It wouldn't show up if you weren't. So you're strong through this. Um, if this is someone else, just be aware. Watch yourselves. Don't let anyone play you. The next card I pulled for the future was the world card. I clarified that. And I got the five of cups in reverse. So you're coming out of a time of emotional hurt. Anything that had happened in the past, you know, that maybe you didn't like, you're getting over this. And then you have the world, which is so beautiful because any bullshit that has happened in the past, guys, this is a complete new cycle. Out with the old and with the new. And you're not stressing no more. You're, you're picking up, you know, these two cups behind you. You're turning around and you're picking them up and you're walking away from this. You're not worried about these three spilled cups anymore. That's great. I'm happy for you guys. That's beautiful. Now, the last card I got was a Hermit in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. So, with the Three of Swords in reverse, this is basically you... What's the best way to say it? It's like you're covering a gunshot wound with a Band-Aid. There's something that, you know, is still kind of on your mind, but you're coming out of a time you know, a feeling of betrayal. Maybe you were in a three-party situation. Maybe, you know, 
you're dating someone and they may have had someone else or but you're coming out of this and with the hermit in reverse this is also urging you to get out of a time of isolation so it's great because I see you know new offers coming in and slowly but surely you're getting out of your head and you're getting out of whatever it was that hurt you in the past just be careful of this knight of cups here because this is really the only problem I could see here you know along with that hurt that you might be you know feeling but be careful with this guy you know or girl if this is you you know you might want to look at your morals if this is the other person just be aware just know who you're dealing with but all in all guys you know this this was very good I do see it ending well you have a few emotional bumps to get over but I see all the strength here to get over it and like I said I, I feel like this is you coming out of a time of rest this is you just finally taking action again and getting control of things again so that's amazing guys and I'm glad that it's going to work out in that way but yeah let me know if this resonates with you um, if you have any questions or you want a personal reading all the information is in the description I hope you guys have an awesome May